All right, today I'm going to basically teach you how to use the Tree Replicator script. It's by Catalyst Gaming. As you can see, I'm in Giants Editor with pretty much a blank map. I've got some hills and stuff over there I think, where I was starting to make a map. Anyway, flat map, right. Okay, you got to make a transform group. Surely if you're to this point of placing trees, you know how to make a transform group. Great. Click on it, change the name, trees, hit enter, okay? And then under that transform group, you got to make another transform group for all your trees. Say big pine, blah, blah, blah. You can hit control X, control V. Get everything in that group. Okay, once you import your trees, you'll put each tree in there and I'll show you how I have mine. This is mine right here. Notice I got dark wood medium, pine medium, poplar small, pine large. And each one, I got my tree. Okay. Now, I'm going to click on one, control B to interactive place it, okay, click on another one, control B, interactive place it, okay, click on another one, control B, interactive placement, alright, now go down here to my last one, control B, interactive placement, okay, that's all my trees right there. Now, what you're going to do this first tree right here, okay, your X, Y, and Z. Copy that, paste it there. Go to this one, copy, paste. Go to this one, copy, paste, okay. Now go back to your first one, get your Y, copy, go to this one, and they're all gonna be the same because you're in your placement, so. You can, you can double check them if you want, but okay. Now go to your Z, copy, okay, paste. Copy, paste. Well, not copy, paste, but paste. You see what I'm saying. Okay, whoops, paste, done. Okay, so now basically all your trees are right on top of each other. See, every one of them right on top of each other okay so now what you're going to do is going to go to scripts up here at the top see where i'm at up here above the facebook icon <laughs> okay click that and you can go to tree replicator but if you don't have that already go to window and go to script editor okay get it down right here we can see it See, I have it right here, but I'm going to show y'all how to do it, okay? Right click on user, create script, you name it tree, it don't matter. Name it whatever you want, you name it ABC, okay? You see all that in it? Just delete that. You're going to pull up the script, which you've got off Catalyst Gaming's Discord. Select all, copy. Go back in here, paste it. Hit save, okay? Notice it changed your name. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, see, top level transform name, which is my top level transform trees. Okay. Allow trees and water. Everything's pretty much self explanatory, and everything below here you do not edit. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to click this one, this one, this one, and this one, which is your four trees. Hold control to click each one, select them all. And let's see right here. That looks pretty much correct. This will override by the water no, the tree level. No. Water level, this is your lowest level already. The radius distance to put trees, this select will act as a center. Okay. You can put this as a number where it pretty much selects your area. Don't ask me how to figure it out because I can't. You just got to select the area and then go back and delete the ones you want. Just say 100. Okay. Tree distance, that's how far apart this tree should be placed for street paint, blah, blah. Okay, now hit execute. You modified code, would you like to save your changes? Of course. Bam, now close that. You can hit close right there. And there's your trees. Now, keep in mind, then three trees, in, I mean then four trees in the middle, which is your first trees, which you got selected over here, right? You can just hit delete. That way it deletes them all. So that way you ain't got 
four trees in the middle that's together. So once they cut one tree, they have to cut three more at the same time. And as you can see, that was a hundred. See the little block it made. Ain't got no floating trees. Got them all on the ground. Look at there. And see, look, this is up uphill a little bit right here. And you can go over mountains with this and everything. You know, if, if I wanted to go over here and place my uh, beginning trees right here, for example, if I wanted my trees right there, I placed all four beginning trees there, and then I did that script, it would place a square block of trees over this terrain, and they would all be to the height of the terrain. So that's pretty much it. If y'all got any questions, feel free to give me a shout and ask me. Go check out my Facebook page right here, Gamer Designs with a 3 instead of an E.